Their relationship to me is so special because it reminds me of a lot of the guys I grew up with. They're just sweethearts and they get along so well, playful. Um, nothing has changed. You know, it's easy. They're easy. No ego, no nothing. It's about the work. And the work that they do is difficult, you know, the timing. The, it's just they have this natural chemistry that you don't see a lot of, you know. I've seen a lot of people try to, um, yeah, to mimic what they do, but you can't. I mean, it's genuine. There's not just one layer to them. There's not just one dimension. Their comedy sort of takes over into the drama. Yeah, it's interesting because there's a lot of drama in comedy. And especially in this movie, without giving anything away, you're going to see them on a whole, you're going to see a whole nother side to Marcus and Mike um, that I don't think that the people can anticipate, but it's lovely. The interesting thing about bad boys growing up, uh, women know this, they never really do. So the idea that they do believe that because time has gone by that they have grown up is hysterical. Most people as a whole believe that when they have birthdays that they're actually maturing, but that's not necessarily so. So I think in um, Mike and Marcus's relationship, the funny thing, or, that, or the thing that makes Teresa laugh so much, is she still remains laughing at both of them because they want to be so grown, so mature. Yes, the years have gone by, but they're still the same Mike and Marcus that she's always known. And she still has to come in between them. And yeah, so nothing has really changed. They're just having birthdays. But you can't tell them that. I think that the universal th theme is like, I think everybody can relate to having a childhood friend, at least one hopefully, that stays with you all of your life, come hell or high water, and loves you unconditionally.